who are inspired, therefore they get inspired. They don't look for extrinsic awards. They do, do not look for extrinsic recognition. They do, because when they go to a class, the chemistry happens, something was interesting happens. The students recognize the concept what the teacher has made, and they deliver such teachers. Spite of all, the such teachers who have not craved for any award or recognition at university level, there are no awards, as you know. So why not our president should buy for the such teachers? And then he visits various you know, central universities and other institutions of which he is a visitor. He should have a few special word with a cup of tea with such teachers. So this has gone on. And this year, first time, the teachers came from all over the country and stayed at Ashton. And uh, this is something that has taken off. I'm very happy to say that. This is a good effort. More and more teachers will be proud in what they're doing. It will help our students learn better. There's also a Best University Award, and a Best uh, Scientist Award, and a Best uh, Innovator Award, Innovation Award in the university system, Central Universities. And last year, a uh, professor from Jamia Media, who got the Best Scientist Award, had uh, on dark matter, he had published a paper which was supported by the Nobel laureate of that last year. Uh, and uh, he had thousands of citations to his work. Apparently, no paper was published after his paper was published, which did not cite his work in the field of dark matter. So, such an influential work that he did, we were very proud to be associated with that process of selecting such a teacher, and uh, makes us proud. And now, we need to create such role models. Sir. We need to create role models of such scholars. And when scientists come here, they should be told the story for these scholars. Uh, that will be wonderful. Ask and bring some stories, real stories of real teachers, and show them to the scientists who come for training programs here, or invite them maybe as a guest lecturer. That will be interesting because they will share how they do that in ordinary conditions, with ordinary incentive, no extra incentive. So the fact that excellence requires intrinsic incentives, Swanta is high. That is the greatest motivating force for our society. Most people who did outstanding work in their life in the history of this country were motivated by Swanta is high. So that is but one's own inner happiness. And I think this notion of getting incentives from outside all the time, this recognition, that award, I don't think that is real right. That is good, that is helpful, it feels good that people are recognized from outside. But a real reward comes from inside. So there is also a national notion club being set up in every institution where president is involved in as a visitor. And uh, NIGs, uh, ISOs, uh, now I am also elected to come and that is the ship because there's a big pending in the parliament. There's an exhibition organized during this visit to various institutions. And what are these clubs supposed to do? These clubs are supposed to do four things. Search, spread, celebrate innovations, and sense the unmet social needs. Four things. Search innovation, spread innovations from wherever they can. And celebrate innovation, invite innovation to the classroom. And fourth, sense the unmet social needs. I'm very happy to say that this process has begun. Last year in the meeting of the Innovation Club, the best presentation came from Silchar. The best Innovation Club presentation came from Silchar. Because they could show how an unmet need was identified and then they did something about it and they tried to solve it, went back to the community, showed them what they could do, the whole process. So that the purpose of this was really understood well by at least one university very well. And I'm sure they times to come, more mistakes will do that. I can share without being quoted on the subject that when we were choosing the jury for the best university, Tejpur came very close to JNU and Hyderabad. Hyderabad got the best university award. But Tejpur, we didn't realize, had wonderful credentials in terms of citations, in terms of all the indicators. Amazing. So that is a now that story needs to be told to our scientists, sir. That I mean, Nyas, I, 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 I don't know why I'm putting so many things on your shoulders, but I think they need Nyas Foundation Day. It will be appropriate that the top institute of our country celebrates these achievements. People talk about Northeast, all these difficulties. It was flat, we were flabbergasted to see the indicators. You should not be surprised in coming in a few years to hear that they that university get the best university award. How wonderful! How wonderful! that despite all the constraints of Northeast, somebody can galvanize the energy to get 85% positions in place. 85% positions in place and many other things. Anyhow, so the innovation clubs 
the fact that the North Eastern Club does the best, I just mentioned it in the aside that there are great things happening in North East. There are great things happening in North East. It will be wonderful if we can recognize them and, and begin to make them feel uh, more mainstream because there is a feeling of alienation we all know. There is a feeling of alienation still exists. You know what happened in Bangalore a uh, year before last when many students from North East were not treated well and some clashes took place. So that feeling comes. Time and again we remind them that you are not one amongst us. So it's very important that Rupi East policy also should include bringing out an examples of achievements from that region into our frame of reference and uh, maybe next one in partnership there somebody can be invited from those institutions to you know, talk about their work and what they have done. So Innovation Clubs, I will request all of your help to spread this idea. Let me come to how the curiosity of the children can, in some sense, overcome, help us overcome our inertia, institutionalized inertia. We all know so much. We feel about this much and we take action only about this much. It's a problem. There's a, there's a central problem of our society where institutionalized inertia is so deep. We all are great about living about what's wrong. But when it comes to feel about those problems as our own and take some action, we probably don't do as well. Students, incidentally, have very little inertia. They want to do things right here. So that's one example. That's a very interesting example. This girl in the center, Shalini, class 8 is in Kinpatna, sent us an idea when she found her grandfather couldn't climb the stairs because he could use walkers. But walkers did not have adjustable legs. They don't have adjustable legs anywhere in the world. In the US, you cannot find walkers with adjustable legs. She sent an idea. Our colleagues in NIA engaged a fabrication company, got the walkers fabricated. In IIM, a student had a fracture, he couldn't climb the stairs. We don't have lift in many uh, in our class complex. So IIM student was using it. And simple idea. Simple idea. This has been licensed to a company, Abitai Technology. And they invite Shalini at their launch function in different cities. They have given about, she has got about 4 lakh rupees up front. So she's the youngest entrepreneur of our country. She got 4 lakh as a signing fee and then she gets royalty on every sale of every walker. And here's an example where an idea of a child, as we call it inverted triangle of innovation, children invent, ingenious fabricate, companies commercialize. <laughs> the other way around, you know. And this is possible. This is possible. And I'm just saying that we can do it at a very large scale in our country. This is another beautiful idea. Uh, Thakur, uh, her name is, uh, it will come in my mind. She was a student from uh, a small primary school and she found the text like that. All our primary schools have text like that. But young children can't read the text. Shouldn't take a great genius you know, to find out that this is not a right design. For 60 and odd years, all primary schools, all little kids have faced this difficulty. Chaya Thakur, Chaya was her name. Chaya Thakur said, no, but why can't you kill the boy? And not only that, she not only just gave the idea, she talked to her teacher. Her father is a, a servant in a shop. She has only one cow, no land, land is responsible. And uh, persuaded her community to install it in the school. So analyzed it, observed the problem, analyzed it, assimilated it, abstracted it, applied it. So I invited her as a guest faculty in our institute. She is the youngest faculty at IIM. <laughs> I called her to my class and I said, look, sit here on the chair, Chaya, and I'll interview now. <laughs> How do you do that? And she was not plus, very matter of the fact, she explained, but isn't it obvious? I mean, what we did was the right thing. I just want our students to understand there are so many things wrong around us. And we don't observe them, much less to persuade our teachers and colleagues and parents to do so, take some action. You could do all of that at this age. So, here is an idea that inertia can be overcome very easily if only we could build upon this inner trait of our children. This is another example. Maybe if you are not sitting properly, so you are going to have pain in your lower back, even if I don't like it, but you will have to because yourself, you are, you, are wrong. you are bending on one side. So, when you are leaning on one side, you are not putting a chair as a support. Many of us do that. I also do this problem. So, this kid took, a kid sent this idea that there are sensors on the back. If you are not pressing all the four sensors, chair will start playing music and not let you work. Or there is a terminal in front and the terminal will get the message, 
please sit properly. There's a sensor in the front of my computer screen. It will sense my posture. My posture is not right. And they know, children know that these adults don't run easily. They need to be coerced. <laughs> Position doesn't work with them. These adults never learn. She, they are so right. I know, despite having talk, talking to you about this, many times I step my back in the, on the, sitting on the chair and I'm very tired and, you know, lean, which is not the right posture. But we do that. But our chair will not let it do that. This is an idea. Now, who is working on this chair? This chair? SP Microelectronics. One of the top five companies in the world. They, are, they have a center in Noida. I must say that they were very responsive when they met me. They, they found, they said, give us electronics or technical problem-based problem. We will work on that if necessary. If you have to make one chip, we will make one chip for you. And they have a plant in Singapore for making chips. So we have no constraint now. And the top uh, engineers of the top company will work on the idea of these kids and develop a chair. And we have given them a target that in Festival of Innovation, we want these chairs to be displayed. So if you do that, you put your name there, that ST Microton is helpless. So we want to acknowledge the partnership. Hopefully, you will see such chairs in the market in due year, due course. This uh, Nisha, now she's an engineering student, finally a student, and she was a school kid. Very simple idea, application, airports, why can't you have folding seat in the seat? A lot of ideas, this is a very good idea. I mean, the passenger can also co-create the solution. <laughs> you know, you have to, if you go to gym to do exercise, why don't you do it when you're sitting on a rickshaw? Simple, Arna from West Bengal sent this idea. This is very interesting. We did this workshop, third workshop, we have finished on 6th and 7th June. Uh, this is a boy, Ahmad Raza, from a slum near Namadi. And uh, uh, tell me, I will uh, tell you when I find I will close as a long story, so I can put any time you want it. I can do that. Just tell me. So this boy made a painting that he said that if you dispose the plastic cups and put them in a box, about 150 cups come in a box of this size. If you put it on a nail, which is what the structure on the right, uh, shows, that from that shows, you can put up to 750. Of course, we should not do these cups, but if you do, despite my advice, this is a better way of disposal and storing. So they won't be, they take less space. This kit, class 4 designs, gives us a solution we then convert it to just an artifact, and the solution is there. We invited him in this workshop, right? He was, the, he was, uh, this came out in Rashpati Bhavan, now we invited him to IMA for our third workshop to give incentive, to give encouragement to them. This girl, Shireen, from the same slum, had a very simple idea. When children are given lunch box, despite our advice, they start eating. Sometimes we also do that. There should be a sticker, she said, on the cap, on the uh, cover of the lunch box, wash your hand before you eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we do also do, we also forget to wash many times. It will be difficult for us to forget, maybe. Imagine if all all manufacturers of lunch boxes in this country could be told as a public policy that please, you will not take lunch boxes without a sticker. One child's idea can reduce load of contamination and infection so much. Health expenditure can go down to that extent. So there are ideas of this kind which children are getting, which can influence public policy, which can influence our quality, and we just need to listen to them. We just need to listen to them. So, this is another innovation that we found in Jharkhand in Shatsuriyatra. Many schools have only one hand pump, children have a break, how can they all drink water? So, why can't we have a 450 rupees contraction? Six children can take water at the same time. Simple idea, very simple idea. Doesn't have to wait for 67 years to come out. But I don't mind if we can solve it even now. Here we get stuck. Now, how do we get simple solution of this kind diffused in all schools where hand pumps are still used? And there are large number of them, millions of them. So, how do we create a diffusion mechanism? How do we bring public health people, a workshop of them, keep all our innovations in that sector and targeted delivery, targeted persuasion to the policymakers that look, give us good reason why we do not implement it. Give us one good reason. And for the all that we know, maybe community can contribute 400 rupees. If there are 100 houses, they can give you 2-3 rupees each because their children are going to benefit. So, don't, we don't need budgetary resources for that. They don't ask me to create new budget. Just mobilize community, tell them this is a good idea, and they will contribute this for. So there are lots of such suggestions that can come out. Uh, there are, we did around this spot brainstorming. Okay, you take a cycle and tell us what else can you do with cycling. Cycle is an aspirational good for poor people for our country still. When they buy a first cycle, the household feel they have achieved something. 
for many people, many poor people. So what can you do with cycling? Now imagine there's no design change in the cycle for the last hundred years. Design change, fundamental design change. So there may be some gears here and there for racing cycle, etc. So what is this? So if you have a cycle, it can be used for blower, 